Last week, on the 11th of May, the UK became the first country to provide Ukraine with medium-range cruise missiles. Less than a week later, the first evidence of their use has emerged. Storm Shadow is an air-launched subsonic cruise missile with a reported range of 250 to 300 kilometers. That's about 155 miles to 185 miles. It can reportedly reach speeds of Mach 0.8 or around 620 miles per hour. This will enable Ukraine to strike targets within territory occupied by Russia, including Crimea. Theoretically, Storm Shadow could also strike targets inside Russia, but the UK has provided them on the understanding that they will not be used on targets outside of Ukraine's borders. It's characterised by its accuracy and also has a sophisticated warhead, the Bomb Royal Ordnance Augmenting Charge, or Brooch. The 450kg or 990 pound Brooch warhead uses a precursor penetrator charge followed by a follow-through main charge to penetrate hardened shelters and structures. Storm Shadow is said to be extremely accurate. Once the missile is released from the aircraft, its wings deploy and it uses a GPS, INS and terrain profile matching navigation system to guide the missile to the target area. The missile typically flies at low level and on its final approach it jettisons its nose cone and the onboard infrared sensors guide the missile to the impact point. With a reported price tag of around £790,000 per missile, they are typically used against high value targets. Development of the missile requirement began in the mid 1980s, becoming part of the multi nation NATO Modular Standoff Weapon Program. While the US pulled out of the program in the late 1980s, Matra BA Dynamics continued development of a missile based on the Matra Apache. The missile became known as Storm Shadow and was procured by the UK in 1997, entering service in 2002. The missile also entered service with the French in 1998 as the Scalp EG, or the Long Range Autonomous Cruise Missile System General Purpose. Since then, Storm Shadow and Scalp have been used during the Gulf War, the Iraq War, and in operations over Libya. On the 11th of May, Ben Wallace, the UK Defence Secretary, addressed the UK's Parliament. Today I can confirm that the UK is donating Storm Shadow missiles to Ukraine. Storm Shadow is a long-range, conventional-only precision strike capability. It complements the long-range systems already gifted, including HIMARS and Harpoon missiles, as well as Ukraine's own Neptune cruise missile and longer-range missions elsewhere gifted. The donation of these weapon systems gives Ukraine the best chance to defend themselves against Russia's continued brutality, especially the deliberate targeting of Ukrainian civilian infrastructure, which is against international law. Ukraine has a right to be able to defend itself against this. The use of Storm Shadow will allow Ukraine to push back Russian forces based within Ukrainian sovereign territory. Russia must recognize that their actions alone have led to such systems being provided to Ukraine. It is my judgment as a Defence Secretary that this is a calibrated and proportionate response to Russia's escalation. Later in the address, Wallace added that it hadn't been easy to incorporate the missiles onto former Soviet aircraft. He said, That has been one of the main reasons for the time it's taken, working out if it's technically feasible, and I'd like to pay tribute to our scientists and technicians. It's believed that Ukraine's Su-24 fences have likely been adapted to launch the missiles. Storm Shadow is key for Ukraine as it provides a much needed long range deep strike capability well beyond that of HIMARS rockets and other artillery. Ahead of Ukraine's anticipated offensive, the cruise missiles will allow Ukraine to strike high value targets including infrastructure and logistics nodes and command and control centers, most of which have been repositioned outside of HIMARS GMLRS munitions range. The 13th of May saw the first evidence of Ukraine's use of the missiles emerge with Russian media outlets and telegram channels sharing imagery of fragments collected in Luhansk. Russian media shared photographs of an industrial building in Luhansk which they suggested had been destroyed by a storm shadow. They also claimed that the Russian Air Force had downed the aircraft that had launched a missile. Subsequent photos and videos showing further fragments with serial numbers and other markings have since been shown. The strike on the target in Luhansk is the first with physical evidence of Storm Shadow's use. Now that the missile is known to be in service, it will inevitably be one of the weapons discussed when considering future strikes. But given the missile's cost and the relatively small number available, 
the Ukrainians will likely be picking their targets carefully. On the 16th of May, France signalled its intention to also provide Ukraine with longer-range missiles. While not confirmed by name, this potentially means it's scalp EG missiles. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you found this interesting. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Please do share the videos with friends. And also, if you'd like to, you can support us via YouTube memberships and of course Patreon. There's plenty of perks over there to say thank you for your support, where you can also get early access to all of our videos. Thanks for watching, catch you next time.